Hello everyone, my name is Brielle. I'm an all-cash budgeter, aiming for a debt-free life, and just trying to create some generational wealth. If you are interested in that or it sounds like something you're into, please go ahead and hit the like on this video and hit the subscribe button. Alright, so today we're going to be cash stuffing um, my wallet and then my sinking funds. So we're going to get right into it. We do have $982 to cash stuff on today. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So dining out is going to get actually 95 because I was at work today and I was hungry. <laughs> so I had to go get um, some chips and something to drink. So it's going to get 95 because I spent $5. $70.95. Alright, so last week I did really good with dining out. I had about $42 left that I rolled over into my student loans. Um, so I did really good. I'm going to try to do as well as I did, if not better than I did last week. I just um, basically ate in, you know, maximize anything that i bought at the grocery store that i knew that i would be able to come home and cook or for dinner or for lunch or you know whatever so we're gonna come back to personal because i don't know i don't know if it's not gonna get anything so gas is going to get a hundred dollars from gas our gas is going down in maryland but from gas last week i believe i have gonna stay 30 some dollars left that i could roll over and it's getting cheaper so hopefully i'll have even more groceries is going to get 100 i did have ten dollars rolled over from groceries that i also put in my student loans anything that i had rolled over i basically put it in my student loans so i'm trying to increase that usaa is my credit card discovery credit card tithes is going to get 50 the money that's in here is we're having a christmas party at church so i have to buy the rolls and anything left over that I don't use, I am going to just roll it over into the student loan fund. Coins, I already put my coins inside of my coin machine thingy. Alright. Okay, moving on to sinking funds. So, student loans is going to get 100 I mean... 500 car insurance is gonna get anything because like I stated before um I use the money for my part-time job and it goes straight to car insurance Christmas is fully funded I did start Christmas shopping this week so yes new place is going to get 25 if you guys haven't watched please go check out my singing funds update so um, basically i went through every envelope and see how much i have thus far so that was really exciting to see how far I've came and just to give myself some, you know, a pat on the back and just something to say. Just keep going because what you're doing is working. All right, so baby fun is going to get 25. Alright, so Boss Babe Brielle, which is me, 
I'm going to get $24. I do need to buy myself some clothes. I just want a lot for myself right now that I really can't afford to buy. So I'm just stretching this to see how much I can have saved so I can buy myself some things that I really need. Ooh, ooh, I'm tired. It was a long day at work. <laughs> and I woke up really early today. Getaways is not going to do anything. Celebration. Celebrations is gonna get 10. Ew. Y'all, this money that the bank gave me. Ugh. It just was horrible. Like, and I usually don't even go to this bank to get money out, but for some reason I decided to. Because I went past the bank that I usually go to in an accident. And I had to go to the other bank. Never again. Never bank. They gave me never again. They gave me some of the worst. It was, it's just ridiculous. If you hear that, that's my mom. She just makes so much noise <sighs> when she's in the kitchen. Like, it literally makes no sense. Life insurance is going to get $27. All right, and if you watch my sinking fund, update i did let you guys know that i canceled netflix and i canceled apple pay because i really need a medical fund and this isn't a priority oh i keep yawning and stuff this isn't a priority so now this is i haven't changed it on here but this will be changed to medical and i did go ahead and I put this in my bank account already because I, I used my credit card to pay one of my medical bills. So I um, left $50 in there so I can pay it, pay my credit card bill off because as you guys know, I don't carry a balance. So yes, this is where the personal came in. I was like, I didn't give myself no money for personal. I was just going to go with it and say I had to do what I had to do. But yes, this is where this goes. So personal is getting 25 Alright, and we are all complete for the next two weeks. Hopefully we get some some type of income. <laughs> that that would probably be a miracle. I'm not expecting it. I haven't worked for it, but yeah. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video. And I just want to uplift anyone who's going through a hard time whether it's mentally physically emotionally spiritually um everything is gonna be okay just take it one day at a time financially as well just take it one day at a time and just try not to dwell in it do something that makes you happy do something that's gonna uplift your spirits um if that's laying in the bed watching TV, if that's whatever it is, just go ahead and do it because, you know, we're getting into a season, you know, these winter months where depression is really like prominent and it increases. Of course, due to the holidays, you know, it's just it's a tough time and especially being on a debt free journey and trying to get your finances in order and trying to pay things off it can be overwhelming because you know you're not doing things that you used to do so you're making you know all these changes in your life so i just want to say you know it'll all pay off just take it one day at a time don't put too much on yourself give yourself room to breathe and enjoy life because every day is not promised tomorrow is not promised so yes, so I just want to say that and I'll see you guys in my next video.